All right, this is one last minute. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. And some new and exciting news is on the way. Uh, so yesterday, Joe put out a live stream from home. Yeah, uh, System Era is working completely from home. They're working remote. They're following state and local laws around the corona outbreak. And I encourage you to do the same. Make sure you stay safe. Make sure you practice prevention tips and listen to local and state law enforcement or agencies uh, telling you what to do during this trying time. So Joe covered a lot in the, what was it, an hour and a half that he streamed. And, and I want to break it down for you because there was a lot of questions that were going on and there was some things that were leaked and some very, very, very cool things that were shown in that live stream. So one of the first things that happened, uh, we got to watch Joe make coffee for 15 minutes. No, no mix. You can't disturb it right now. You just got to let it sit and then a nice crust will form on the top. I'll give it a little. I'm glad you've got that French press down, buddy. I mean, you did a great job. I right, saw so another exciting thing that happened during the stream is there was some guy in an orange jumper suit that was kind of weirding Joe out, you know? There's someone standing out there. It's very concerning to me. You know, personally, I, I think he just wanted his free copy of Ashton. I, I, you know, goes without saying, right? Okay, like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of stuff that's covered in the live streams, right? There's always a ton of questions that were asked, and then there's some new stuff that was being shown off. So I, I want to deal with the questions first, and then we'll go into everything that was introduced or leaked out in this particular stream. A question was asked about an update to the roadmap, and there will be an update to the roadmap coming out. There was no time frame given to that, but that's something that Joe acknowledged that they're working on. Uh, dedicated servers. So dedicated servers are close. They're very close. I, I'm not too sure if they're going to be coming out in the next update or the following update. Joe didn't say specifically, but you know, just from my own personal testing, they look pretty solid. They look pretty good. Can't wait to see. Uh, when they're going to come out, and I'm sure it's going to be pretty soon. The question, again, was brought up about VR for Astroneer. And and look, I, I'm sure that that's something that would be really cool. I, I mean, I would love to play Astroneer in VR, but it's not a first-person perspective game. And then also, you would have problems with the UI. They'd have to fix the entire UI or, or change the entire UI to be able to support VR. Completely different, you know, mindset. I mean, look at Half-Life and the way that they're dealing with the VR and the UI. You know, word on the official store is that Joe is still working on it. So that system America can have their own footprint, their own official store, and they can release cool stuff. But no timeline, no anything. Joe just said he's working on it. Uh, somebody asked who's working on a space snail. Joe said he's working on the space snail. I don't know if the space snail is ever going to come to life. Would love to see it. Uh, hopefully that's something that comes out this year. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see what they come up with. You know, there was some talk around storms. I'm going to let you hear some of it. Andrew, I mean, we get a lot of questions about storms. The problem is, y'all, I don't know if you actually remember storms, right? Like, the idea of storms are great. Our execution on storms was not that great. It was just, like, super annoying. And, uh, yeah, it would have taken a lot to fix it. For every, for every person that's like, yo, I love storms, there's like 20 that are like, take them out of the game. They're so annoying and pointless. That's true. Storms did force you to clean up your base. I do like that part. Like, I, So that's the thing. I like the idea of a storm or an obstacle that like, you know, causes you to think differently about the game in certain moments. It's just, number one, storms on Terran is bad, right? Because like, the idea that we want to give you, at least on Terran, is that your home base is, like, safe. You know, there's nothing that's going to, like, come to your first initial base and, like, destroy you, right? It's just, it's a nice place for you. As you explore, you experience new things. So I like the idea of them being on other planets. But that first place where you are is, like, part of the magic of Ashenir is that you're there and you know that it's, like, I'm good. And then once you opt into exploring to see other things, then, they're like, then that's when you start to feel, feel that challenge. Honestly, my feeling on storms is, is that I, while I understand that everybody's having some problems with it, they were too frequent, they were causing problems performance-wise, 
to me, it added a, a level of insecurity, right? There was this environmental thing that could really harm you and cause you to go back to wherever your landing point is or whatever your shuttle, your, you know, your shelter, whatever. And that, that added a level of excitement to the game for me because it's not, it wasn't just free roaming. I could do anything I wanted to do wherever I wanted to do as long as I had a tether line. And now it was, hey, you have a tether line, but you still have to be aware that there's some sort of environmental thing happening. Now, as for frequency, yeah, I did, frequency needed to be reduced. It needed to be a little bit more sporadic. It needed to be, you know, f- more warning to it, whatever the case might be. They they do need to implement it correctly. And I would love to see them invest time in that and re-implement Storms in because it added that extra gameplay uh you know, danger element that Astroneer is kind of missing. I mean, it is an exploratory game. I get it. You're going out there, you're exploring. But with that, saying that, going to these new places should have some sort of level of danger to it. Not just the plants that are static that do something. It should be something else that causes me to, you know, keep my head on a swivel or make me worry about the planet that I'm going to. Just my opinion. There was a question about the leveling block in survival. And so it looks like they're going to be adding the leveling block to survival mode, which is great. Love that concept. Can't wait for that to be introduced because I think that that's really something that should be there. And Joe had mentioned that he was going to start doing more vlog content, but that is going to be nixed or or maybe put on the back burner while this whole, uh, you know, social distancing or whatever you want to call it, um, quarantining is in progress for the virus. Okay, so that leaves us on to the good stuff. So when is a new update coming out? Well, Joe mentioned that the current update, the one that is coming out next, is already in the defect cycle. So that typically means it's a couple weeks out. So they're shooting for April. Now, he didn't clarify that in the beginning and at the end of the stream, he didn't clarify it again, but somewhere in the middle, somebody asked a question and he did say April. So I think they're shooting for an April release for the next update, which is Yeah, woo, can't wait because of the stuff that's in it. But starting on Monday, in the next few days, depending on when you're watching this, uh, they're going to start putting out, you know, uh, information on social media, uh, not only about, you know, the public safety stuff. It's going to be public safety related, you know, stay home, play video games type of thing. But what they're doing to encourage people to play Astroneer during this time that we're all down is uh, they're giving away the a recruit palette that um, was only given off at PAX to anybody who logs in for the next month, which is amazing. But those, all those posts are going to come out starting on March 23rd. Uh, another thing they talked about is that there is, they hired a, somebody that was uh, in charge of like lore related stuff. So it sounds like they hired a writer and that person is going to be working on some Ashenir cinematics, which is going to be kind of like story based or, or and or, you know, playing or have the characters playing around on these worlds and showing off some stuff. I mean, it sounded kind of cool. I mean, it was interesting that they were talking about narrative videos as opposed to update related videos. So I look forward to seeing what they come out lore wise, narration wise. Because they need to have a little bit more meat behind the whole story of Ashenir. I'd like to know why we're there. Why are we on these planets? What was the reason we got in the ship and, and landed there to begin with? So that would be kind of cool to flesh that out. To hear what they have to say about that. There is going to be a new palette unlock for the next update. And Joe showed off the palette. And it looks really, really cool. I, I like this concept. It almost looks like kind of like a, a steampunk palette, right? Uh, you got a kind of like a, you know, a, it's not really a gear. It's actually a wheel, a wheel on your head. And somebody mentioned it would look like more like a, a Russian kind of czar outfit or whatever that, that hat, that puffy tall hat. Uh, you know, I think it just looks really cool. I, the chrome on the, some of the suits really stands out and shiny. And, you know, so these are preliminary mock-ups. I, they're, I'm sure they're going to get refined before it gets re- introduced into the game. But this is something to look forward to in the next update. The next update is an event very similar to the holiday event that happened this last December. So it is an event. And on top of that, it's around Astronium. So finally, we get to do something with the Astronium, which is kind of neat. It's very cool. 
there was a couple other little telling things that came out. Well, there's two major things. Let me show you those right away. So Joe had showed off this video of a ship being blown up into pieces so that you could turn around and you could scrap it. And I thought that was, that was perfect. We've been waiting for this for a really long time. So I'm really excited to see that come out. And then on top of that, somebody had said, oh, now I can scrap everything. And yeah, you can. It seems like you can because Joe had alluded to the fact that you could possibly test it out on some of the existing shuttles that you had made and see what happens. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for this feature that we can go around and we can finally blow these objects up and, and do something with these objects that have been sitting around in the world for the last three years. He also showed another video of this leak of this giant box. Now, this was this was leaked. Uh, the picture was leaked on social media and, uh, you know, it showed kind of this little astronium color coming out of it. This has to do with the event, right? This is this is something that we're going to be collecting. Uh, I have a feeling maybe blowing up as well and sending it off as part of the event. I have no idea. I mean, the people were speculating left and right what was going to happen. But I, I thought this is this is fantastic stuff. But also in that one little video off to the side, there is this little green box sitting on the rover, which I don't know, maybe that's the package that we wind up sending off. Maybe that's something else. We're going to have to wait to see that. But finally, there's two other things that I thought were really interesting that was said. Somebody had mentioned trains and Joe had made a very interesting comment about it. You keep yelling about trains. That's interesting. That's all I'm going to say about that. And then also, again, there was something that was brought up about farming or the terrain regrowing back. And Joe had said this about that. How likely is it for the game to get plant regrowth in, say, the next couple of months? So you're talking about farming. How likely is it to get farming? Eh. I think uh, the next update, though, is going to be something that people have been asking for for a long time. So those are some two things that I'm, I mean, I, I don't know if they're going to be in the next update or not, but they sound like they're either coming or they're definitely going to be there. I, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, you know, pretty outst outstanding stuff that they're going to show. And he's not showing everything. I mean, remember back a couple of weeks ago when I did a release of what's coming out and, and, you know, what Joe said on a developer's live stream, they're working on big updates. So big update, hopefully we're looking at a lot more content, a lot more things to do, a lot more things to build. I can't wait. I'm really, really excited to see what comes out in April. Well, that's it, everybody. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribers, please subscribe. Join our fantastic community. Uh, also, you can follow me on any of my social links in the description below. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when I go live and when I post new videos. Talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.